So today we are at Lewis McAdams Riverfront Park right along the LA River which is a perfect place to talk about these different topics. Um, but first I want us all to travel back in time to a time when the LA River was wild and there was no concrete, there was soil and a lot of plants thriving along the 51 miles. Um, well when the river was natural it was a source of water for many many people, the Tongva people use um, the water from the river for all of the different needs, all their necessities. Um, but when the river was channelized, um, the water was no longer able to cleanse itself. Um, so we no longer use the water for our needs. We no longer drank from it or used it to bathe or wash our clothes, etc. Biofiltration, what is that? When the ground is porous, like soil, when we have soil along the, the river, water is able to filter back down into the ground. Um, and in the process, it becomes cleaner. And wa this water replenishes our groundwater. Um, so we have water below us, groundwater, and it's stored between rocks, between soil, and this is also a water source. So it's very, very important for us to replenish it to allow water to filter back down into the ground and become part of our groundwater because a lot of people use groundwater as a water source. For example, farmers use groundwater, they bring it up um, and they use it to irrigate their crops. Even though water filtration is not occurring along the parts of the river that are channelized, it is occurring along the parts of the river that have a more natural bottom. So these places we call soft bottom locations. So there's three up in Sepulveda Basin, um, Glendale Narrows, which is where we are at now. And you can see that there's a lot of vegetation thriving here. A lot of different birds and critters call this place their home, their habitat. And then we also have the Long Beach Estuary, um, which is the third soft bottom location. So we need to remember how important it is to remove concrete. Um, so if we remove concrete, replace it with soil, biofiltration occurs once again, water becomes cleaner in the process, our groundwater is replenished. Um, so we need to also think about implementing nature-based solutions that allow this to happen. So what is a nature-based solution? Well, there are many different types of nature-based solutions, but it's really a way to use nature to solve environmental challenges. And there are many different examples of nature-based solutions that we could go over. Um, so for example, a green wall is a form of a nature-based solution. Um, it uses plants to absorb um, carbon dioxide and it provides cleaner air. Um, we can also think about porous pavement, um, which is a type of ground cover that allows water to infiltrate down back into the groundwater. Um, I will show you a bioswale um, which uses natural parts such as rocks and plants and soil and it allows water to slow down and go back down into the groundwater. So these are the types of things that we need to start implementing around our cities, around our parks so that it can help nature can solve these issues that we're facing. So for this next part of the lesson, I am here with Mireya um, and we're going to think like engineers with all, you all um, and we're going to put together a water filtration system um, to help solve the problem of water quality. Um, so before we get started, I wanted to introduce the term permeability. Um, so what does that mean? When something is permeable, that means that something is able to pass through, such as a gas or water. Um, if you think about soil, soil is permeable because water is able to pass through versus concrete which is impermeable so nothing really can pass through concrete. Um, so we want more ground cover to be permeable because we want water to filter back down into the ground. So for our water filtration systems we will be using um, these liter bottles. They're empty, we clean them out. And we will be using some items that are permeable and some that are impermeable. And our goal is for water to pass through and end up cleaner on the other end. 
So you can use common household items, whatever you, you have available at your house. Um, you can think outside of the box. You don't have to use what we're using here. Um, we would love to see you guys all create your own system um, and get creative, think outside of the box. Um, so here we have dirty water and we're gonna pretend that it's polluted and that there is stuff in there that we do not want um, and we want the water to come out clean. We have a sponge here which is permeable because water is able to pass through it. Um, we have foil which is impermeable because nothing is able to pass through. We have coffee filters which are permeable because water is able to pass through. We have rubber bands and cotton balls. So we're going to put this together however we think um, fits best and our goal is to have clean water at the end. Pretty clean. Yeah, it's coming out slowly, but um, the water is looking much, much cleaner. The water is not that clear here, but that's okay. Um, these systems don't have to be perfect. This is a prototype, so it's a first version of an invention. So we are learning from these systems. Um, the next time we make another one, we will um, think of other ways to improve our systems. Um, so this is just, a, um, we're testing it out. It's a trial run. Um, so in your classroom, you could share ideas with your teammates. You could compare your filtration systems present them to each other, um, and talk about different ways that you could improve your systems for next time. All right, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. Um, and so until next time, we'll see you again. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed these videos, please consider visiting our website, folar.org, and making a donation. Um, your contribution will really help us continue to expand our education programs, our online curriculum, our policy work, and will really help us come up with unique ways to connect the community um, to the river and to all the nature around us.